By the Minoan Warm Period, which is much earlier, we don't really have any written records of. And so that's almost all based on uh, oxygen 18, oxygen 16 ratios in carbonates. And, and what, was it really warmer during the Minoan warm period? Yes, indeed. The ellipticity of the Earth's orbit is such that in our summer, northern hemisphere summer, we're furthest from the sun. Back during the Minoan period and earlier, during the northern hemisphere summer, we were closer to the sun, and so you would have expected it to be warmer just on that ground alone. And all the proxy evidence from isotopes indicates it probably was warmer significantly warmer. When you go way back, you're looking at how far did certain uh, uh, birds migrate, how far did trees exist in one location. Uh, in particular, you're trying to put that together with a rock strata. So what we really get a picture is that there have been a lot of variations that the Roman period probably was also a warmer period, and the altithermal probably was warmer than anything we've seen since the last ice age. But the idea is to try to be able to take all of these diverse records with lots of different num numbers associated with them and all sorts of errors and bring them all together into one location and try to put together a homogeneous temperature record. And that's a very tall task to do. We also have evidence that in the time of the Roman Empire, the Alpine glaciers were smaller than they were today. It's even possible that during the Holocene climate optimum, they weren't around at all. And that tells us not only that climate is variable, but also that the more extreme predictions of disaster that you get from the alarmists are contradicted by the evidence. We have seen periods warmer than today when we did not have catastrophic flooding, where we did not have drastic rises in the sea level where we did not have the collapse of the Antarctic ice. All these kinds of things that we're assured are liable to happen if we just get a couple more degrees of temperature. We can also see that it is generally true that colder periods are bad. For instance, Rome flourishes during a warm period, and then when the temperature turns down again, you get the Dark Ages. The Thirty Years' War in the 17th century that depopulated much of Central Europe, and even the French Revolution seems to have been triggered by bad weather that led to a poor harvest.